Well, when you increase an investment, that means that you are go from a limited partner to being a larger limited partner. Why would we ever do a deal like that if we were a limited partner or a rich guy like Steve Cohn? Here's the answer. It's you have to have a path to control. What a path to control means is that I will agree to pay you a valuation of $4 billion for your team. And I will own up to 50% of the team, but you get to control it. Except each year that passes, my ownership increases, and then after X number of years, let's just say five, after five, number of, after five years, I get to take over the team. I get an option. That's my path to control that I can buy you out, Fred Wilpon and Jeff Wilpon and Saul Katz, and I can be the owner of the New York Mets. So how does this work in real life? Fred Wilpon goes to Rob Manford, the commissioner, and says, listen, I got to do some estate planning. I'm going to have some significant estate taxes. I own a lot of real estate. There's no question I lost a lot of money with Bernie Madoff. That Ponzi scheme guy, may he rot in jail forever for losing the money of charities. Bobby Bonilla thanks Bernie Madoff. Bobby Bonilla keeps getting paid because of Bernie Madoff. That's a story for another day. But Fred Wilpon goes to Commissioner Rob Manford and says, listen, I got to plan my estate because right now I do not have the cash to pay my estate taxes. It will require a liquidation of my assets, and that will take a lot of time because I own real estate. The best way to help my estate is to actually sell the Mets. The Mets are probably the most liquid thing I own. So the commissioner says, Fred, I hate to lose your vote, but I understand you're in your 80s. Are you sure Jeff doesn't want to run the team? Jeff Wilpon has been the COO for as long as I've been in the game, so for 20 years. He has a little piece of the team. Is it possible that Fred could pass the team on to his son? Well, the answer is no, because that doesn't take away the estate issues for Fred when Fred passes away. Now, Fred is a great guy, a true mensch. I hope he lives to be 120. That doesn't mean that, A, he will, and it doesn't mean that the Mets have been successful with him as owner. What it does mean is that he's getting his life in order and his estate plan in order. So if Steve Cohn is going to have a path to control, what does that mean for now versus the future? Get ready, Mets fans. You're going to have a billionaire owner. He's going to increase payroll. You're going to be above the luxury tax threshold. You're going to be in the 200s. You're going to sign every free agent. You're going to win multiple rings. Get excited. <laughs> no, that's not what it means. Steve Cohn has the right and ability to buy this team because he's liquid and rich. But he is spending so much on his team that how much money he'll have left for payroll, that remains to be seen. But giving five years of planning, what if, if I'm a Mets fan, what I'm hoping, and if I'm Major League Baseball, what I am demanding is that in a market like New York, Steve Cohn presents to me a plan of how he will run this team. And not a plan that's absolutely bogus, like some other plans I've been a part of, maybe that were submitted on behalf of the new owners of the Marlins, maybe. But this is a plan that Steve Cohn has to stick to in terms of how he's going to operate. Not just keeping Fred around as the control person for five years or keeping Jeff Wilpon around as the COO for five years. That's just a pillow landing. That's just, that really is irrelevant. It gives him five years to say their goodbyes. That's all. And it sets at Major League Baseball up with a new owner and an easy change of control. And it's going to be at a huge valuation, which will make all the other owners happy. But for Mets fans, does it guarantee five years from now that you're going to be having a parade instead of the Yankees or that you're going to be in on the free agents? Well, frankly, you guys do spend money. I never understood why Mets fans were so angry about money. What you should have been angry about is incompetence. What Steve Cohn needs to promise to Rob Manford is he'll fire Brody Van Wagenen. And he will bring in a real baseball guy. Not that Brody will be there in five years to begin with. But the question is, who will his manager be? Who will his baseball people be? Who will run his team? Because Steve Cohn is not going to run it on a day-to-day -day basis. Hold on. Yes. Um, Coca, could you fix up my resume? Yes. And forward that to Steve Cohn. That's Steve.Cohn 
at Mets.com. No, I don't want to run the Mets. I love being here with you guys at Nothing Personal. But as part of his plan to take over, he's going to need a president. So this is a big day for Mets fans. You're going to all celebrate that the Wilpons are finally selling. Well, just ask people in Florida, folks. Folks, be careful what you wish for. You may lose a Samson and gain a Jeter, but have you actually gained anything at all?